Aga amazing day kids! Welcome back to another exciting science lesson in Valenzuela Live. I am Mrs. Stephanie M. Salom from Pasola Elementary School, your science teacher today. For some reminders, comment on your name, grade and section, your school, and mention the name of your teacher. This will serve as your attendance. For your active participation, you may type your answer in the comment box. Always remember to be polite when commenting your answer or queries. Avoid unnecessary words that are not related to our topic. The objective of our lesson is to identify the plants which grow on land, water, and air, which comes from the most essential learning competencies. Please get ready with your module, notebook, and ball pen. Let's now begin by singing our science song. It's science, science time. It's science, science time. Let's all be ready now. It's science, science time. What do we do during science time? We observe, we compare, identify, classify, infer, test how Understand them well, science facts. I hope you enjoy singing our science song. It describes necessary characteristics for us to achieve today's objective. How are you today, kids? Do you brush your teeth? Are your nails and ears already clean? Do you wash your hands before and after you eat? Or when you touch different objects? If yes, you are very good. It is necessary for us to maintain clean body and have a healthy lifestyle, most especially in today's pandemic. To have some recap, let's begin by having a sort of game. This game is what we call as Fix Me Up. I'll be showing pictures of some terrestrial plants and you will identify their specialized structures using the jumbled letters. Use the comment box to type your answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's have the first one. Rose. What specialized structure does it have? Fix the jumbled letters to come up with an answer. Use the chat box to type your answer. If your answer is thorns, good job. Let's have the second one. Cactus. What specialist structure does it have? Use the jumbled letters. Comment down below your answer. If your answer is spines, magnificent. Let's have the last one. Antorium. What specialized structure does it have? Use the jumbled letters. Comment down your answer. If your answer is waxy leaves, great! Oops! Where do you think am I? Yes! I'm in the middle of forest, wherein you can find trees and water. Now, can you find different plants that you can see here? Let us identify them. If you're thinking about orchids, a coconut tree, and a water lily. That's correct. This tree varies in their habitat. Plants can be seen anywhere and everywhere. Different kinds of plants grow in different habitat. Habitat is the natural surroundings where plants live, grow, and multiply. They grow in the, in the different place depends on their structures and needs. There are three main types of habitats for plants. First is the land. Next is water. And the last is air.
Many plants grow on land or soil. They have roots and wood stems. Eat roots, obtain water and nutrients, and anchor to the soil for survival. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Some of the examples can be found in our vegetable garden, like tomato, squash, and okra. Some terrestrial plants can be found at the park, such as tantan, sampagita, and sunflower. While others can be found in the forest, such as nara, apitong, and yakal. Not all plants can live on land. Others grow on water. They are called aquatic plants or hydrophytes like the water hyacinth and the lotus. They grow and propagate in water. They have a soft, hollow stem, smooth leaves that allow them to keep afloat in the bodies of water. So the most common aquatic plants in Valenzuela is the water lily. Aside from the plants that grow on land and water, some plants grow on air. So they are called aerial plants or epiphytes. These are plants that do not need soil for their roots. Instead, they absorb moisture and nutrients from the air and rain. Some aerial plants have basic roots, which they use to cling on rocks, trees, poles, or other plants without harming them at all. Examples of epiphytes are staghorn fern, bohokni maria, and the fox brush orchid. So let us now have an activity in a sort of game. So the title is Memorize Me. I will be showing you pictures of plants that live on land, water, and air. I will give you five seconds to memorize the pictures. So after that, I will cover each picture. From that, you will identify the corresponding letter of the pictures based on what is being asked. Use the chat box to type your answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. So here are the pictures. I'll give you five seconds to memorize it. Time's up! Identify which of them are terrestrial plants. Those plants that grow on land. Type your answer in the comment box. If you answer letter A and E, well done! Santan and Nara grows on land. Here's the next set of pictures. I'll give you five seconds to memorize it. Time's up! Here's the question. Identify which of them are aquatic plants. Those plants that grow in water. Type your answer in the comment box. If you answer letter C and D, fantastic! Water lily and lotus are aquatic plants. Here's the next set of pictures. I'll give you five seconds to memorize it. Time's up! Here's a question. Identify which of them are aerial plants. Those plants that grow in air. Type your answer in the comment box.
If you answer letter B and F, superb! Staghorn fern and foxbrush orchid are aerial plants. The title of the next activity that we will answer is Complete Me. You will fill in the blanks with land, water, or air to complete the sentence. Type your answer in the comment box. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one, I am an orchid. I love hanging on the blank. You have five seconds to answer. If your answer is air, you are correct. Next, I grow on blank. I am a guava tree. You have five seconds to answer. Time's up. If your answer is land, Good job! Next. I love to live on blank. I am a cactus. You have five seconds to answer. Time's up! If your answer is land, amazing! Next. I grow and multiply in blank. I am a lotus. You have five seconds to answer. Time's up! If your answer is water, wonderful! Next. I am a staghorn fern. Plant me in. Blank. Five seconds to answer. Type your answer in the comment box. Time's up. If your answer is air, very good. Let's sum it up. Plants that grow on blank are called terrestrial plants. While plants that grow on blank are called aquatic plants or hydrophytes. Epiphytes are plants that grow on blank. You may use the comment box to type your answer from numbers 1 to 3. I'll give you 5 seconds to answer. Time's up. Let us answer. Number one is land. Number two is water. And number three is air. If you got all correct answer, excellent. For your assessment today, choose the letter of the best answer. Type your answer in the comment box below. Let's have number one. Which of the following is an example of aerial plants? A. Lotus, B. Orchids, C. Santan, D. Sunflower. You have five seconds to answer. If your answer is letter B, that's correct. Next, number two. What plants grow on land and get nutrients from the soil? A. Aerial plants, B. Aquatic plants, C. Terrestrial plants, or D. Hanging plants. You have five seconds to answer. If your answer is letter C, terrestrial plants, amazing. Let's solve number three. How do plants 
that grow in water can survive and adapt to their environment. Letter A. They have wide flat leaves that keep their balance and stay afloat in water. Letter B. They live on branches of trees and are exposed to air. Letter C. They have strong roots that hold them up on land. Letter D. They cannot adapt to their environment. You have 5 seconds to answer. If your answer is letter A, well done! Next, number 4. Which of the following is an example of terrestrial plant? A. Algae B. Pitcher plant C. Seaweeds D. Talahi You have 5 seconds to answer. If your answer is letter D, very good. Let's have number five. Vina received a gift from her mother. It was a big mounted clear jar with a plant floating on it. Where do you think this plant can survive? A, air, B, land, C, water, D, underground. You have five seconds to answer. If your answer is letter C, water, excellent. I believe that you're now ready to answer your self-learning module. Just wait for the instructions of your science teacher on what you're going to answer. That's all for today, kids. I am Mrs. Stephanie M. Salom from Pasolo Elementary School, your science teacher for today. Always remember to follow health protocols, be the solution to COVID-19. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.